Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be seeing the last and the fourth technique for performing framing in data link layer. So framing means converting the raw bit stream into frames at the data link layer at the sender side so that the data link layer at the receiver side can correctly understand where each frame starts and where it ends okay so in the previous three videos we have seen three different techniques namely bit stuffing byte stuffing with flag byte and the first one was byte count now is the turn for physical layer coding violations so how do we use the coding violations at the phys that were present at the physical layer to perform framing in the data link layer so we have studied during the physical layer that when we need to encode the bits, sometimes there are patterns that cannot be used to represent data in the bit stream that we are sending. And that is what results into redundancy. Redundancy basically means extra patterns or extra bit patterns that are present, that are available with us and are cannot be used to send or represent data. So this is how redundancy happens when we are at the physical layer performing encoding of bits and representing a 4-bit pattern by a 5-bit pattern so that some redundancy is introduced and those redundancy can be used for other uh, uh, tasks and one of these tasks is framing. So actually some bit patterns that never occur as regular data can be used as the delimiters for the starting and ending of the frames at the data link layer. So for example, we studied this 4B, 5B encoding technique in which four data bits are mapped to five data bit patterns okay so that means we have to represent 16 combinations because 2 raised to the power 4 is 16 but since we are mapping the four bit patterns using five bits so with five bits a total of 32 combinations are possible but we are only representing 16 combinations so 6 32 minus 16 equal to 16 that means there are 16 5 bit patterns which are never used as data and they are redundant so this means that these redundant bit patterns can be used for other purposes now one of that purpose is to represent the starting and ending of the frame and that is why we say the coding violations that means those bit patterns which if represented as data at the physical layer would have been a violation can now be used at the data link layer to perform framing okay so to delimit or to mark the start and end of the frames now what is the advantage of using these coding violation firstly these starting and ending delimiter can never occur in data so it is very easy to find the beginning and ending of the frame and it is very easy to distinguish the starting and ending of the frame from actual data and secondly this technique is the only one that does not require any kind of bit or byte stuffing so remember that we uh, used bit or byte stuffing when uh, we were aware that the flag pattern which is being used to mark the starting and ending of the frame can also appear inside the data so it is our duty to inform the receiver that this is not the starting or ending of a frame rather it is just data with the similar pattern but in this case, the since we are using redundant bit patterns, which will never appear as data, so we do not require any kind of stuffing. And that means it leads to the third advantage that the frame length does not get affected. The length of the data inside the frame never gets affected. Okay, so the frame length will never get 
changed the length of the data inside the frame will never increase because of stuffing okay so this is an added advantage so this was all about physical layer coding violations that can be used for framing at the data link layer i hope you have understood this concept please let us know how you find this video and also let us know which other topics you would like to study from us thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam